What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on uh, what one draft that I think particularly defined this Boston Bruins team that I, I again picked the fit I picked at the start of the season to win the Stanley Cup, picked the start of the playoffs, and they're making me look good going up two to one tonight over the Detroit Red Wings. And um, the 2006 draft was not the best draft in the NHL. Um, you know, there's some pretty good guys at the top, uh, namely uh, Jonathan Taves, Backstrom, Castle, uh, Kyle Posers really come on the scene this year. Um, you know, but you look at for the most part, a lot of teams whiffed um, on on players, and you know I'm looking at just the Anaheim Ducks. Could have, you know they're probably gonna come out of the West. They're you know my pick to win the West. They could have had um, you know Claude Giroux or uh, or Varlamov, or a guy like that. You know I know they have depth, but you know in goaltending, but you know something like that. Uh, the Chicago Blackhawks, you know, got Jonathan Taves, and that you know that that seemed to work out pretty well for everyone. Um, but the Bruins really hit this draft out of the park. They drafted Phil Kessel, and we'll get to that in a second. Amazing player. We'll talk about, you know, but just bear with me. Uh, you know, truly all-around amazing player that is dynamic offensively and one of the best players in the game. They got Milan Lucic, power forward, part of the Stanley Cup championship team uh, three years ago. And then Brad Marchand, uh, another part of that, that Stanley Cup championship team. And Kessel was good in Boston. 37 goal season, I believe, was last year. 36, 37 goals was last year as a Bruin. Then a contract dispute, they ship them to, to Toronto, and they get two high first-round picks, Tyler Sagan and um, Dougie Hamilton. Sagan's a big part of the two, not a big part, a role player on the 2011 championship team. They ship him off, you know, to Dallas, and they get Riley Smith and Louis Erickson, who played very well in this series um, and played very well this year. You know, particularly Smith, when Erickson was healthy, he played very well. Um, but, you know, the concussions and everything else. But he, he really, I think, entered the postseason on a high note. Um, and you look at what the Bruins were able to do. They were able to get... Just directly and indirectly from the 2006 draft. Lucic, your first line left wing. Brad, Mar Brad Marchand, your second line left wing. Then you got Dougie Hamilton, up and coming young defenseman who looks really, really, really good in this series. And then um, you got Louis Erickson and Riley Smith. Those are five guys you got from that 2006 draft. And a lot of teams whiffed on it. I mean, I'm not knocking Eric Johnson. I, I did a piece on him the other day. How about, you know, when you look at him as not being a number one overall pick, just look at him as a, as a player. He looks he looks a lot better, and uh, you know if, if St. Louis had taken you know Taves or, or Kessel or Baxter or a guy like that, you know they'd be where would they be? And uh, you know it's fun to play these games, but rather than play what could have happened, let's look what the Bruins did. They went out and they executed in this draft, and uh, you know they are reaping the benefits. You know again a lot of those parts were directly or directly involved in their their Stanley Cup championship team three years ago, but this time around you know there's even more indirect relation to it, and. Um, it speaks volumes about the. This was Shirelli's. He wasn't there. His first draft was 07. And, you know, the 07, 08, and every draft since has been kind of tough on the Bruins. But having um, these good young players in the system, you know, meant hitting a few home runs in a draft where a lot of teams whiffed. And I think another thing the Bruins did well was stealing Patrice Berger on three years before that in the second round. You know, and it crazy was a second round pick in 04. You know, these teams draft and develop their amazing, their, you know, best players. And I think. The Bruins are a little bit different in that you can make the argument their most important player, not Tuka, who they stole, who they stole at the 06 draft. By the way, they made the trade for a member for Andrew Raycroft, and that kind of <laughs> didn't worry off of Toronto. Uh, but the Bruins, you can make the argument their most important player is the Daniel Chara, free agent from the Ottawa Senators. Building the pieces around him, usually you draft and develop your best player, and you get free agents to complement them. The Bruins are one of the few teams to go out and sign a free agent and say we're going to build around this guy and you know and be successful and win a cup out of it. So, you know, it's um that's a testament to the organization. You know, from top to bottom, they know what they're doing and they know how to put a quality hockey team on the ice on a consistent basis. And they're going to be a contender for a long time because of that. Anyway, that's on this episode of the Power Play with CJ on how the Bruins really hit one out of the park in the uh, 2006 NHL entry draft. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.